Choose to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt ring. Right, the bouncer's guilt ring. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here in Manchester and I'm here with the new British, you're missing one, the Commonwealth champion. Jack, how are you feeling, big man? Yeah, listen, I'm over the moon. Um, like I said, it's every, it's every boxer's dream. It's one of my dreams. Me being as a kid watching the boxing, it was always the British title my dad always wanted me to fight for. And look, I've gone and fought for it tonight. I've not just fought for it, I've won it. So, like I said, this 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 title's for my dad. Uh, he's sat at home, he's not 100%, he couldn't get there tonight. So, yeah, listen, I, I hope I've done him proud. I'm sure you have, and it's not just you. Just you didn't just win the British title; it's the fashion you won it in. And when I was watching the first couple of rounds, I was thinking, like Jack's game plan here is to keep it long, keep it long, keep him off the jab, jab, because you were double it, trebling, trebling it up. And then when it came to the third round, you sort of stepped in a little bit. And it was that one, two, boom, hook. Was that sort of the, the game plan? Was to let him a false sense of security with the jab and then step in a little bit? Well, we just up to the game plan is as in putting the weight on the back foot instead of me coming forward like an idiot like I do sometimes getting the weight on the back foot and once he starts winging, which it's a matter of time he does, he likes he likes, he likes likes overreaching with the left hook or the right hand, he's leaning back and counting on it and, and that's exactly what happened. I mean that's your middleweight division has been stacked throughout the, throughout the ages, throughout the ages, it's one of the be better divisions, especially in the UK, you've got guys like, I know Callum Simpson's walking about here, He's uh, he's been sparring with Bert BF. He's an up and coming challenger. He's probably one. He's gunning for you. You're going to have all these big names gunning for you. And I, I like, obviously, it's all right winning it. Now it's the next part, which is defending it. You ready for it? Yeah, listen, I'm, I'm more than ready for it. At the end of the day, this is what I'm in this game for. Win a British title. That's not me. I don't have to go chasing people now. People are going to come and want to fight me. So, listen, yeah, let's let's go. We'll just we're going to have a little little rest up, and um, I'll get myself back in the gym and. Who, who knows, any, anything anything or anyone could be next. Obviously, going back to the fight as well with Mark Heffron, you, you know each other very, very well. The sparring stories, he thought that he got the better of you in the sparring. Um, obviously, the way you way you ended the fight with that left hook, you're not known for that, I've got to be honest. But that's, has it been something you've been working on throughout this camp? Or Like, like I said, it's putting the weight on the back foot, not getting involved. Sometimes I fight like I'm five foot when I'm six foot three. And the end of the day, like, you're getting the weight on the back foot. You'll see the shots come in, and like I said, it, I see I seen the right hand, right hand left hook, and the left hook landed. I think the thing with boxing is obviously there's the highs, and the, the highs are very, very high, and the lows are very, very low. Just go back to your last fight with Pacheco. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then now look at you now. Listen, I've done the highs and I've done the lows, and the highs are definitely better. At the end of the day, if it wasn't for them lows, I wouldn't be here now. At the end of the day, like some boxers think, oh, if the, if the all goes, that's the that's the done. Listen, I've been I've been beat a few times, and I've been beat by good lads. Everyone, everyone who I have been beat by, they are going to be world champions. So I put myself, I do actually put myself right up there. And me being a British champion, I always, I always thought, I always knew I was good enough for a British champion. And look, look, look tonight, I was, I was, I am. Listen, Little Eva will be absolutely buzzing tonight, man. Be, they, listen, that place will be dry come tomorrow morning. Little Eva's empty tonight. Is there all here? But yeah, listen, like I say, I couldn't, I couldn't thank enough all my fans, all my sponsors, and especially my coaches. Every, everyone's got me back. Um, I've done it all for you. This 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 tonight was for you. Yes, and you can become the mayor of Little Lever if you want to. <laughs> yeah, I'll come the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they'll trust me. With. Listen, go enjoy the rest of the night, Jack. Well done again, big man. I'll see you soon. Thank you, mate. Choose to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.